Look around you. See if you can live without it. Creativity. It is an addiction. Whether we're taking it from other people or we're trying to steal it from ourselves. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Stream thinking. It's learning how to trust what's in your present, the right now. To get there requires a lot of practice. One sheet of paper every day. Just give yourself 10 minutes. Write about whatever is moving through your moment of right now. No judgment though. Put that little monkey over there to the side. Stream thinking sharpens your skills as a listener, as a communicator, and as an activator. You've got to learn how to trust what is right now. This is stream thinking. Today we're reading from February 18th, 2023. When parts of your life are physical lessons to be used later on in life. My wife's most recent hip replacement became a moment of thought, meeting thought. I share a lot of conversations with those that are in their senior years, you know, 45 to 60. I ask about the secret. The majority of them reply that life doesn't prepare anyone to be really good at health providing, which is why my eyes opened this week. This is one of those lessons, providing care in moments that I'd rather be doing something else, setting aside my normal to be present in someone else's life. In that moment of now, She was in need, not always wanting because those receiving don't feel so comfortable when it comes to other people stepping into their lives. But it's a lesson to learn from, to pay attention to, to take note of. Something positive is always swarming around those little moments of negative. Stepping onto the paths of somebody that you're going to take care of for a moment or for the rest of their life. My sister Susan will always be remembered as a great caretaker. She took care of my father, my mother, and my brother Teddy. But I often wonder who was there for her when she was in trouble. My sister, as that caretaker, was extremely loving and giving. But when she became ill, she wanted nobody around her. She didn't want to be taken care of. It was her life the way she wanted to live it. I can't help but wonder, what was she thinking? Was she just ready to grow? To be with mom, dad, and Teddy. To be in a place where it's like, I've given enough and I don't want to burden somebody else. I've talked to many caretakers, very close friends in radio. They fought the fight. They proved to be strong in moments where they assumed they were weak. They made their way through that storm and when the caretaking was over their hearts hurt where was that person that they became so close to where was the daily ritual they changed their life to be a caretaker now they have to change their life back most of them don't make it back to where they once were their lives change their careers go a different direction they start to look at life in a different light The physical lessons of life. What are you learning? What are you being prepared for? A simple hip replacement for my wife opened my eyes, creating thought for other thoughts. To share a conversation with the seniors, I asked them, what is the secret? There is no secret. You just know when you're called to take care of. I'm Errol, and that's Stream Thinking.